Do you like glitter filament? Well, of course you do. Like, who doesn't like glitter filament? <laughs> Hello, makers. I'm Joe, 3D Maker Noob, and today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and that is I'm going to review um, filament. Uh, however, I don't know how to do technical reviews of filament. If you want technical reviews, you should go to Stefan at CNC Kitchen. The guy's an absolute god at testing filaments. I, on the other hand, I can tell you how, how, how pretty they look. I just print stuff and I show them to you guys. We can, we can do a, a scale. We could call it the Filanoob scale from one to 10. One being, mm, and 10 being, woo. And today I'm gonna show you guys Filamentum's Extra Fill Wizard's Voodoo. Um, and some unicorns, so stick around. So Filamentum's Wizards Voodoo uh, has now been released a couple of months ago. I, have, I, I haven't tried it yet, except for, you know, now. Um, I have seen a ton of photos of prints in this filament. And I can tell you now, photos or videos do not do this filament justice. And to showcase this filament, I wanted to print something special from an amazing designer that goes by Arte Creator. By now you probably saw a model called Brie Online, an extremely detailed, beautiful model by Arte Creator, which I printed on the Sindwinder X1. However, with the release of Wizards Voodoo, Arte Creator thought it best to make an updated version of Brie and call her Voodoo Brie. Voodoo Brie prints completely without supports in about four pieces along with some pegs that you'll need to fit in together uh, and a few spikes to impale the Voodoo doll. Of course you need spikes to invade the Voodoo doll. Now I printed mine on the Zemore VX which is now a permanent fixture in the office thanks to Zemore who allowed me to keep it. I printed the model at 0.14 millimeter layer height and the quality is absolutely superb. Now the filament itself helps a lot in hiding any inconsistent layers you may have due to its deep gorgeous purple and blue glitter effect. Once any kind of light hits a model with the wizard's voodoo, you get this sort of pearlescent effect, which is just absolutely stunning. So once it's printed, all you have to do is just put all the pegs in their appropriate place and just snap fit the whole model um, into one. Now while I was printing this, something happened and I'm not sure you can see it on the camera. The voxelizer software I use on the Zmorph prints are off as default and I don't mind it because it works just fine. However, the first two or three layers uh, after the raft are usually a bit thicker than the rest of the model. What I noticed was that the color seemed a bit different for those thicker layers at the bottom. More of a deep, gorgeous blue effect as you see on the spool rather than the deep purple effect it has on the model that I printed. So I figured I'd test out layer height differences and what effect it would bring out on the model itself. Now since I wasn't going to print a voodoo brief for each layer height, I opted for Filamentum's new mascot, Filafella. Uh, which was designed by the awesome Floalistic. It's clean, it's easy to print and will work just fine as it doesn't waste too much filament. Now I printed four versions, one in 0.10 millimeter layer heights, one in 0.15, one in 0.20 and one in 0.25. Now once again, I hope that I can get the effect to show properly on camera. Uh, because with this kind of color, it's really difficult. But I could clearly see that the thicker the layers, the more prominent the glitters were. And therefore, the blue became even more prominent, giving it a much, much more deeper color. Um, and it looked more like the filament that was wound on the spool rather than changing into a more purpley one once printed. Having seen the results and the difference and more glitters, the thicker the layers, I decided I, I want to reprint Voodoo Brie in 0.25 millimeter layer heights. Now, no, the quality won't be as refined as the 0.14, of course. And yes, I could have gone with the 0.2 layer height to get good compromise between smoothness and color. However, it didn't turn out bad at all. I love the thick layers and the color effect on it. The blue in the filament shows much more along with the glitters. And I believe it's, it's the actual glitters inside the filament which end up showing um, this bluish 
color hue that comes out of it due to the thicker layers. Unfortunately, I did drop my model and broke its arm, which I tried to fix. Hopefully, no bad juju comes my way. This basically goes to show that with certain filaments, which have very particular colors, it will be always a compromise on layer height versus color, depending on what you're looking for whether it's smoothness or more glint. This in no way means that smaller layers, the color will look dull, far from it, it still looks absolutely stunning. However, as a personal reference, I think going forward, 0.2 millimeter layer heights for me with the Wizards Voodoo um, will definitely be the way to go. I just love the glitter effect that comes out of the thicker layers. That is it for today, guys. I will leave links in the video description to everything that I printed along with Filamentum's website address who have generously sponsored this episode today. So thank you very much, Filamentum. Make sure you go check them out. As for you that are watching, if you look bottom right hand side of the screen, if there is a red box over there, if it's red, shame on you. You should be clicking that. Like, click it now. So easy. Just mouse pointer and just click subscribe and while you're subscribing uh, you might as well just hit the bell right next to it so you get notification when this face comes up on screen thank you once again guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i want to thank my patrons for allowing me to be able to do this by supporting the channel if you want to become part of my patreon family um, i will leave a link in the video description i do um, special content exclusive giveaways um, uh, and I think that's enough self-promotion for, for one episode. Yeah. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Thank you once again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, happy making, guys.